Okay, this week on Bangers and Mash, we're giving our rating out of five because our other hand is going to be busy. Uh, we're going to be doing a game called Dead or Alive, uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Three, and that's beach volleyball. Uh, it's developed by a team called Ninja, and it's developed published by Tecmo. Originally released in, to be released in February, it was later delayed until March. Uh, they released two versions of the game, Dead or Alive 3 Fortune for players on the PS4, and Venus on the PlayStation Vita. Yeah, the game's only available in Asia. This means that we had to import this game. Uh, this was due to the character Mary Rose. Uh, she's apparently an 18-year-old character, but she plays an underage, and I swear to God, looks more like a 15-year-old. Uh, she's apparently 4 foot something and like 80 pounds on screen compared to the other characters. She's noticeably a little girl. However, I think the controversy of this character is highly blown out of proportion. Everything in the game is made to be erotic. Everything. <laughs> It, it is what it is. It's babes playing volleyball and doing mini games, and they're just showing off their shit. <laughs> Easy to see why there was no Western release. Uh, the premise is weak. Uh, you're just watching over something called Zack Island, and each character does have their own little story why they're there to relax and train, but other than that, there's nothing. Uh, if you're paying attention to the story, uh, you missed the point of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In the end, though, it's just raw sex appeal. Yeah, you do some mini games in this game. Uh, some of these mini games include pool hopping. Uh, we've seen this on the earlier installments. Uh, you basically have to hit the right button combo uh, to cross the pool onto the floating pads, uh, depending on how hard you hold it the farther you will jump. So if you do a quick tap, you'll do a quick jump. Hold it, and you'll do a long jump. Pretty easy. Uh, there's a weird tug of war in this game. We have to pull the other girl into the water with a series of really sexual looking tugs. <laughs> you battle with uh, your ass in butt battles. Uh, the girls basically just butt slam each other till one falls off the, like a platform. Uh, Almost feels American Gladiator esque, I guess. Um, like I said, uh, I mean, there's fucking rock climbing. Uh, you basically just quick time event and stare at a young girl's ass. Um, there's a flag race. It's just that a race for a flag. Uh, basically, all all these mini games are just one handed. If you really want, you can make your character relax at the pool. Uh, or the beach, where you can capture them doing, you know, sexy poses. <laughs> In this mode, you have access to a camera, so if you didn't think it was pervy enough, uh, this is... <laughs> you can get any angle on their beach. Uh, it's kind of pointless, though, because the game works on a 15-day vacation, and doing one thing <laughs> that you can only do about three tasks a day, and then that's really it. The game does feel really short because of this. I found after an hour and a half you've seen everything the game has to offer. Um, volleyball, mini mini games, and relax mode is pretty much it. Oh, and, and the casino. Yeah, the casino is at night. So after you do all these activities you can take your character back to their room and then really all there is is good to go to back to the casino. Or watch them lay there. Or start a new day. Uh, the casino is nice, but it lacks the characters actually sitting at the table. It's just a picture. I don't know. For, for such an erotic game, it seems kind of lazy. Yeah, you should have them all slutty there playing poker, not just the picture of them with they're their on, cash. They're, they're on the cards, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, there are some aspects of this game, like leveling up for some reason. <laughs> Uh, as you compete, you gain the experience, you level up. As you level up, the opponents become harder. You compete in the volleyball or mini games to earn these Zack dollars. Uh, you can use these Zack dollars to buy items at the shop, like new bathing suits or random like accessories and gifts. Uh, you can gift the items to characters. Uh, yeah, sometimes you're given items too by this dude that owns Zack Island. 
Uh, if you do gift these to other characters, you know, if you gift them the right color and shit, you'll build respect for the character. Yeah. The actual <laughs> volleyball in the game is pretty subpar. You can just mash X the entire time and there's just a little bit of moving around. Uh, the characters you're playing volleyball will do like random sexy poses, but sometimes it just, it's so stupid. Uh, you get half a second into a pose and then have to react. Uh, the only, only to start posing again, it looks off. Off. Way off. <laughs> uh, really, what did you think of Dead or Alive Exchange 3 for the PS4? So, I guess what the pros is, it was in English. Uh, all the writing was in English, and because it was on PS4, there was no region lock. Cons would be, we should have imported Dark Souls 3 instead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Initially, it gets a 3 out of 5. Nash, seeing as how you were the one who you imported it. didn't get a replay. Oh, no. There is no replay. No? No replay? You won't even go there? No. He won't even no, go there. No, there's no replay. Alright, well, if I had to give this game a pro, I mean, the video game breasts are at its best and bounciest. I mean, I found out later that this game actually has volleyball. <laughs> um, the cons, though, it does not do anything to separate its spell from the previous installments. It's, it's pretty much a niche market. And on just a side note, they don't even have much racial variety in the game. They're all white or Asian. Uh, they could have at least included Lisa Hamilton from previous installment, installments. Uh, she's an African-American character. Uh, I mean, really, why no love for the sisters? <laughs> uh, initially, though, I give this a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, replay value, though, I would give it a 4 out of 5. You do want to come back for the titties. Uh, this game is nice if you want to see sexy video game babes doing erotic shit. But after 20 minutes or so, it does become really repetitive. This has been another Bangers and Mash. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Twitter on the links below. And don't forget to like our other videos. Feel free to donate any Boba Fett merchandise. Stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you don't, I really don't give a fuck. Until next time, this is Mash saying fuck off.